Here we are, folks. Same thing, except I got to show you something new. It involves a sphere magnet. I want you, I want you to watch this. What a spear magnet's capable of doing. I don't think it was unable to use a spear magnet doing this kind of stuff, but it turns out that I can. And you just have to watch this. Hang on a while. Here's a spear magnet. It's inside of a container. Maybe just an old poultry seasoning container. If you ask to be inside of something like this, you're going to have problems. That thing's going to take off on you. It's a one inch ball magnet or spear magnet. I'll put it here, nothing. See? Now I'll take this magnet here. This is how you get this thing to work. Any kind of magnet now in your other hand will start this thing. Watch. There, I broke it thin enough. Watch the, the voltage over there. I'm just going right on up. Watch that light, too. As soon as we get to about 85, 90, that light's going to come on. There's 72, 75, there's 80. There it is, the light's on. Okay, so now you can hear this thing really carrying on, moving on. They like to rotate. Yeah, they like to spin. Don't ever try this in a bowl, it'll go right in your face. The spin out of the bowl. You have to have it in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in an area like this, a combined area. I think it's all in the mail. And what's happening is the South Pole is going over the North Pole. The temperature's all north over the South Pole, south over the North Pole. That's why it's doing like it is. If it was the other way around where the North and South Poles were spinning like they were on the equator, you wouldn't have that noise. But it's going to end over in inside of there. That's where the noise is coming from. Actually, I should move. I can't take it up as far as I can with the other magnets. I can take a little far up because it'll try to stop them. I don't want to do that. So it has to be pretty close to the center of your uh, coil when you do this. Let's see if I can get that light to come on a little brighter. No, it's moving down. I build this up again here. At some point, you can actually hear this thing. There, it's increasing. If I work with this a lot, you can get that thing to fit even faster. Sounds like an airplane, not an old, old airplane mode. And once again, there's a bullet coming off of 2865. I think it has something to do with the size of that coil. I might experiment later on and try to make another coil. Make it either bigger or smaller, I'm not sure. I think by increasing that bolt, uh, the coil a little bit, or decreasing it, I'm not sure which way. I can get that light to come on in full intensity. But right now, no matter what magnet I use, whether it be a ball or a sphere magnet, I'm still getting the same results. Now watch, I'll pull this thing away. And that's there it goes. The light went on. And it's we got 27 volts still in there. It's it'll gradually go down. Now I'll put this back here. Once again, I need stroke. Take your take another magnet like this and go stroke down with it. That's how you start these things. Watch. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Back up again. Watch the boulders point. Now it's not daylight anymore. It's out here. It's just starting to turn midnight or dark. I might say midnight, but it's, it's now there we go. There's the light. Once more the boulders right after that it, it takes on that boulders drops to 28 volts. So back in back in business again. The spear magnet and on the show. I sort of, sort of prefer the wing magnet because they don't make no noise. Can you imagine this thing trying to screech it, screeching all night long? If you're going to use this to make a portable device out of this, this thing's screeching like that all night long, you know, you're not going to fall asleep as a night light so easily. You take it up too far and it, it, it'll try quitting. You can't take it up as far as the wing magnet. On the stuff. Anyways, 
That's something new I wanted to show you. So anybody that was, have ball magnet, well, could you use that bigger ball magnet or smaller one? Either, I'm not sure. This is one inch or no work. So just make sure it's inside something like this, a container you can deal with. And it's not going to take off on you and wind up in your teeth. Okay, so pretty much that's it. I'm going to shut her off and that's about it, folks. Got anything to say? Well, give me a holler.